What's up, guys? NASA is saying that we could possibly have a magnetic pole shift very soon. It was uh, within the next thousand years and possibly within the next hundred years. And maybe this is, and this is also coming from never a straight answer, your beloved NASA. And, but maybe they're, they're actually giving us a little bit of truth for once. Maybe there is something with this magnetic pole shift. And there's a lot of, been a lot of talk with this the past several years, but what has been happening uh, big, really, the past couple of years, animals, birds, a lot of strange things with them, their, their patterns, and a lot of uh, strange animal die-offs with whales, fish, uh, birds just falling out of the sky. And on top of strange noises in the sky, these booms, a lot of reports across the world hearing these strange booms um, and noises in the sky. Maybe this has something to do with the magnetic poles. So maybe NASA is actually onto something here for once. But they, there are growing fears that weakening of the Earth's magnetic field and reversal of magnetic poles could have catastrophic consequences for humanity. Some reports believe that magnetic pole shifts in the past triggered mass extinctions, including extinction of Neanderthals. And um, scientific researchers say there is evidence that the Earth's magnetic field has weakened significantly in the past 160 years and that neutralization of the magnetic field and flipping of magnetic, magnetic poles could occur in less than a thousand years or as early as the next hundred years. Weak weakening of the Earth's magnetic field caused by a gradual reversal Realignment of iron atoms in the Earth's liquid outer core will lead to a reversal or flipping of the Earth's magnetic poles so that compasses point to the south instead of the north. When the polar shift happens, the Earth will have no magnetic field for about 200 years. So they're saying that if the reversal of the poles, magnetic poles, they flip, there won't be any magnetic field for 200 years. And that will be increased in skin cancers. Weakening the Earth's magnetic field could have serious consequences for life on Earth because the magnetic field acts as a shield that prevents dangerous solar radiation from passing to the atmosphere. And they go on to state that when its magnetic field is neutralized, the Earth will lose its ability to shield its atmosphere from direct exposure to dangerous solar radiation for up to 200 years, leaving humanity and life on Earth exposed to harmful radiation from the sun including solar flares and coronal mass ejections. And, quote, even if the field becomes very weak at the Earth's surface, we are shielded from radiation by the atmosphere, according to Corte. Similar, similarly, as we cannot see or feel the presence of the geomagnetic field now, we most likely would not notice any significant change from reversal. So they're saying that, you won't notice anything from reversal except for a bunch of uh, blisters and, and solar radiation and cancers and things like that. That's really the only thing you're going to notice. But um, that's about it for this time. Reporting to you from my lunch break at work this weekend. And just let me know what you think in the comments below. Is NASA on to something? Is this polar, the magnetic pole shift, is, is it weakening? Is that one reason why there has been a lot of strange animal die-offs with birds, fish, whales, and maybe, and also is the magnetic field, is it weakening because a lot of these strange noises and sounds and booms that we're hearing across the world in the sky? But let me know what you think, comments below. Until next time, keep truthing and have a good one.